Picked up this Ninja 250 a while ago for pretty cheap. Let's do something fun with it. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Napoleon, like anyone can even know that. Hello my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today we're gonna mess around with this Ninja 250. I got this thing a while ago, kind of impulsively bought it. I think I paid $550 for it. It runs, it drives. It actually has had some stuff done to it already. Uh, but I have some ideas, kind of silly ideas with it. So let's take a look at it and I'll go over what my ideas are for this bike. This is a 2001 Ninja 250. Like I said, I paid $550 for it. Um, it's been dropped a couple times. There's a little bit of damage to it, but it's in pretty good shape overall. And the guy I got it from was working on it for his son to have a run around vehicle. So he put new tires on it, new brake pads. It has a braided brake line front and back. I think a uh, new battery, um, a few other things. It has an aftermarket shock, I believe, on the back of it. We'll take a look at that later. But I've always had the idea that this would make a kind of a, well, not good, but it would make a decent small adventure bike. Now, hear me out on this. It's not a dirt bike by any means, but uh, it's cheap, reliable, gets good gas mileage. And, you know, if it gets wrecked, it's not a big deal. I've been thinking for something to take to uh, south of the border, ride down to Mexico or maybe even farther. This is just an idea and I don't have a whole lot of money in this thing so if I turn it into something and it doesn't work I'm not out a lot. Now a sport bike like this it's a little tiny sport bike maybe not the best choice for something like that but once you're south of the border you're not going to be riding single track trails you're not going to be riding 100 miles an hour uh, and Taking something like my KTM down there, that is a theft target. This is not a theft target. Anyway, it's just an idea, so let's see what we can do. I've owned a lot of these over the years, actually. I, I pick them up cheap and fix them up enough that they work and turn them around and sell them to new riders because I think it's a great new rider bike. For $1,000 to $1,500, you got a motorcycle that's capable of freeway speeds. Everything works the same as any other motorcycle. Um, as I said, the low cost, you know, you tip over a brand new sport bike, you can cause $1,500 worth of damage. This thing, $1,500 is about what they sell for on the used market. Oh, excuse me. So anyway, I have a plethora of parts still up in my rafters for these. Now, the first thing that I wanted to address to turn this into kind of an off-roady type bike, when I say off-road, I mean mostly dirt roads. It's not gonna be, like I said, a single track monster. But the first thing I wanna address is these clip-on style bars. So in my stash of parts, I had another upper triple clamp. And I have already modified this one. I drilled it out and I put these, um, handlebar risers or holders or whatever that I had in my stash of parts. Drilled it out, bolted those through, and put these bars that I had in my stash of parts on. So this is the first thing I'm going to do to get started on this project. So we're going to take off this top triple clamp right here, which involves basically removing this nut. These don't have to come off. I'm going to slide all this off of here. And we will put those handlebars on and see how that changes things for us. So I'm running into some issues that I already kind of knew were going to be issues. The uh, brake line, I had to reroute it. It was routed up underneath through here. So I'm going to have to make a bracket or something to put it right here. Shouldn't be too hard, actually. Probably just get a clamp similar to that and put it here. Um, rerouting the throttle cables. They were going up and over the throttle tube or the fork tube, I mean, and I'll have to put them behind that. But we've got the bars on here. Got the clutch handle on. 
Now, if you've ever swapped out bars from factory bars to aftermarket ones, your, sorry about the bad lighting, your factory bars have these holes that your throttle and um, control uh, pods, whatever you want to call them, notch into. So you have two options. You can either drill your bars or you can file off these little nubs on here that position them. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to file those off. It also allows these to move in different positions, which might be good for something like this because if this does turn into a dirty adventure bike of some sort, then these will be able to move on the bars and they won't just break off. Like I said, your other option, of course, is just to drill a, a hole. But I'm going to get those off, try to get all the controls on here. But it already looks pretty cool with that on there, in my opinion. I've got everything mostly installed here. And it's looking okay. I knew this might be an issue right here. The uh, ignition is so close to the bar here in the center that I can't turn the key. So I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some spacers underneath here, get some longer bolts space this thing down a little bit so i'm going to knock that out and then i'm going to take the uh, headlight and the instruments off and we'll see what we can come up with for up here there's the spacers on that thing it does appear to work it's not perfect though i think my best bet's actually going to be to make a couple little plates and move this thing out about an inch we'll worry about that later it's on there for now and as you can see, the front end looks a little bit more aggressive without all that stuff on there. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is take off this um, front fender. I've got a couple of dirt bike fenders up in the rafters. We'll see if we can make one work on here just to get the look of it. And I also have a, a couple of dirt bike headlights, I believe. So let's see what this all looks like once we get that off and I'll dig some stuff out and we'll do some test fitting. So my accumulation junk is paying off once again here. Got some side panels, which who knows, maybe they would look good on here. I got two different front fenders. That one I think is off of a CRF Honda and that's off of a XR. It's actually off my old XR 400 that I bought. There's a couple videos on here. Maybe I'll link one, but uh, someone spray bombed the whole thing. Kind of looks gross. And I have that headlight. So let's see. This CRF fender probably is a little too aggressive, but let's just see how she looks. I don't know. I like it. If I could make it work. The problem I think is going to be back here, um, but maybe, you know, space it out a little bit. I think if I could find a fender off of a smaller bike, like a... Uh, CRF 150 or something like that, it probably would work better than these. That one doesn't look too bad either. Uh, the problem there is there's no mounting underneath here, but we do have those two holes, so you can make a little plate that goes underneath. So I'll see if maybe I'll just fab something up. It won't be a permanent thing. Um, I have, like I said, a couple of license plates sitting over here in my junk pile, so they are pretty easy to bend. So I might just make something real quick just to stick one of these fenders on. Maybe this one here, huh? This one looks a little aggressive. <laughs> I don't know. I like it, though. And this headlight. Voila. Yeah, we're running into issues right there again. That's okay. We can figure all that out. I think I'm going to just run these straps around there and put this in place just to see how it looks. And we'll go from there. I'm thinking maybe a Supermoto fender might be the way to go now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, for something I had laying around, it doesn't look terrible. It looks kind of amusing. But yeah, maybe a Supermoto fender or a fender from a smaller dirt bike with a smaller tire because that's for a 21-inch tire. I don't even know what's on these things, 16-inch tires. I know they're not 17s. But it's mounted, 
headlight is on here. It's none of this stuff is um, permanent. Don't get me wrong on this because there's the bracket I made and it's not very good. It was just a chunk of aluminum I had laying around, but you can see it does clear. And maybe you're getting an idea of the uh, picture going on in my mind for this thing. We'll get some knobby tires and some more aggressive foot pegs and maybe slim down the back a little bit. Although I do like this grab rail here. That thing is mounted very solid. Maybe we could take that off and make a rack back here. It has these pretty cool little tie down deals here. But uh, maybe I could make some um, racks to put here and then I could utilize those bags that I bought for this KTM, which I don't really use that often, but I can make something similar to that. My fab skills are not that good, but I could make something that would hold and would work. But so far, all this is just stuff I had laying around here. So it's kind of a proof of concept. And there's all the stuff that has come off of the bike. Now, let it be known, without that gauge plugged in, this bike does not start. So I think we need, well, I, I think we need the, um, probably the neutral light. And this headlight, just I had laying around, kind of bulky on the back here. It's bumping into the key switch, which we already have a problem with. So maybe moving that key switch somewhere else, down to the side, get that out of the way. We could bring this in. Maybe there's a way I can slim these gauges down a little bit. I have some friends who are into 3D printing. I don't know if you could make a different case for these somehow. Take them out of this, put them in something else. Mount those up close here. But uh, as of now, it's not running without this plugged in. So it is just a proof of concept. And everything I've done so far can very easily be reversed. But we're just having fun in the garage, messing around, tinkering, as it were, and doing things with bikes you're not supposed to do. So kind of like my Gambler car. This is my Gambler bike, maybe. We'll see. Uh, hopefully, I follow up on it because I end up getting some dead projects around here. So what really helps out is if I get feedback from you, the audience. So please... Give me a thumbs up, leave some comments down below. Um, and if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.